Agent-based modeling is a technique of, um, it's a computer simulation technique. That is, you write a computer program so that the computer program, when it runs, does similar things to what you're simulating. In this case, we're trying to simulate people interacting in a social way. Agent-based modeling is a particular kind of that technique because um, in the simulation you have different bits of the simulation to represent separate people. So that the simulation keeps track of the different people separately in the simulation. It doesn't, it doesn't think of them as a complete bunch, so to speak. It thinks of them individually. The in the interaction between the individuals is, of course, the key important part from a social science point of view, and that is represented by interaction between the bits in the simulation. One of the disadvantages of this uh, approach is that you have to write a whole lot of rules to make all the bits in your simulation act as the people would act and interact including a whole lot of rules to specify how the environments that they're acting within would interact. So at the end of the day, you get quite a complex simulation with lots of different bits interacting together. Now, of course, this is of interest um, because it allows for different group-level um, phenomena to emerge out of the interaction of all the bits, just like we seem to observe with real people so that although each individual might be interacting with its own goals and aims, when coming together it might turn out that they're all uh, doing something that you can recognize on a macro scale, for example, or following a particular fashion or being influenced by a few key leaders in the group. And it is this link, this ability to link the individual behavior of the people to the society level um, effects of their interactions that makes this technique particularly of interest to social scientists because that is the stuff of social science. How we create society and how society constrains us and what we can do. There are social simulations, this agent-based modeling has been around only for a short while, about 20 years, and so it's a relatively young discipline, so people are still learning how to do this technique, how to use it most effectively in the social sciences. Um, and the way people use it are often very different, so they range from very abstract sort of thought experiments in a computer, where what you've got is essentially a sort of analogy, a way of thinking about people, rather than representing any particular people uh, directly, all the way down to some very descriptive complex simulations where individual people are represented and some of the interactions and lifestyle and life history are all included in the simulation which get very complicated. One big disadvantage of this, this uh, approach is that these simulations get very complicated. So it's very difficult sometimes to completely understand what's happening in your simulation, just like it's sometimes very difficult to understand what's going on in society when you see it. But all in all, given it that it's a, a technique that allows social scientists to explore possible social interactions linking the micro and macro level, I think it's a technique that's going to be here to, be, is here to stay. It'll pop up in various subfields of social science and um, thus it, it'll be something of increasing interest I think there are lots of opportunities for using this technique in conjunction with other social science methods. Um, for example, I think some data mining and statistical techniques could be used to check the simulations or to inform how we should program them. I think some of the qualitative techniques which are good at eliciting stories from people might be very useful in helping us know what to program into the individuals in the simulation to start with. And thus, this technique is not a magic bullet. It allows us to do new things relating the micro and macro levels together. Um, and I think it will be most effective in conjunction with other methods.